Hello YouTube, welcome to Dojo, you're here with Samurai Man. And today I'm going to do a little, uh, I guess, vlog thing. The first time I'm ever doing a vlog, technically. I mean, I guess my TF updates are vlogs, but this isn't a TF update, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a vlog. Anyways, I'm wasting time. So, I went to Anime Expo this past week, and it was awesome and crazy, and got a lot of stuff as you can see. I just want to show off, I'm going to go eat individually talk about what panels were there, who was there, and just want to update you guys on why I haven't done any videos this week. So, start off, a um, lot of people this year, they actually said at the closing ceremony that we broke the record, there was over 80,000 people attending this year, which is why everything was so busy and crazy and intense, because... Last year, I was like, wow, the line system for last year was way more efficient. It was way better. This year, we were outside a lot. Almost every line I think I waited for, I was outside toasting in the sun. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Anime Expo is in Los Angeles, California. And in the middle of summer, it's freaking hot. So yeah, that sucks. It sucks being out in the sun for almost three hours if you want to get into the good panels, or like most panels. So that was really bad, but I mean, last year, it was only 60,000 people. That broke the record of 60,000 people, so that's why they didn't have to really put people outside. So yeah, it was really crazy. They are trying to get everything oriented with the line system, and a lot of the times it just was not working. But I, I got into almost every panel I wanted to go to. I think there's maybe one I didn't get into. I think that's about it. So for me, it was fine. But anyways... The, I went to a Sailor Moon panel where uh, some of the voice actors, or I'm sorry, voice act, well, yeah, voice actors and voice actresses went, so that was really awesome. Um, uh, so it they, they was like the first time they'd been together in a long time. They were really funny and very charismatic and just nice in general. So that was just amazing. They were ecstatic to be there and we were ecstatic to see them. Um, I went to see Sword Art Online. Season 2, Episode 1, woo, world premiere. That was crazy difficult to get into just because everything was hectic. Everyone was being hectic about it. And trying to get everyone uh, organized was, was crazy and disorganized. And it just wasn't working. And the people weren't cooperating well. And the staff was just not, not working together well. So it was both sides that were just not cooperating. And... I, me and my friend got lucky that we got in. The only reason we got in is because they told us that our chunk of the line uh, wasn't going to get in, and we were just like, no, we're getting in. So we waited by pretty much the entrance, and they had a bunch of staff people saying, okay, we've been full for over an hour and a half. No one else is getting in. And then after, and this was before they even started letting people in. So after they had let everyone into the room, they had leftover space. Big surprise, because they hadn't even let people in yet, and they were saying they were too many people so they had some a couple like a good two three full rows open not full but like they, they had a good amount yeah actually yeah they might have yeah yeah they had like two or three full rows open because because like when i walked in i wasn't in line because they kicked me out of the line because they said it was full and they still had like three rows open i was probably like like three or four rows up so they definitely had a lot of space left over after they said nobody else could fit, so that was dumb. I don't know why they did that. They kept doing that. I don't know why. But anyways, we got in, and they were just, like, handing out the posters as you walked in, so that was freaking awesome. This is a really well, really well done poster. It is just so cool. It's got, like, autographs and all that cool stuff. So, very cool. I'm thinking about framing it. Just is such a high-quality poster. So it's um, really awesome that I got to see the world premiere of Season 2 of that. And then I got some other free posters in the back that were just at panel, or not panels, at booth. I just thought that would be cool. I have a Dead Man Wonderland poster in the back. You can't see it because it's covered. I mean, it's really big. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's really cool. I have the Space Dandy poster that I also thought was really cool, so I picked it up. Sailor Moon Crystal, little one over there. That one is awesome. Uh, it just looks nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say a lot of people are kind of like iffy about the new Sailor Moon series. Honestly, I, I think it's fine. Uh, the, the first episode, I think, just came out recently on Crunchyroll. So I'm, I'm really excited to watch that. Because also, I just started my Crunchyroll account. Um, I feel like if, if I have an account set up, I'll be more motivated to watch anime just because I haven't been keeping up lately. So I'm full throttle now. I As soon as I logged in, I was overwhelmed. I was just like, oh, I don't even know where to start because there's so much stuff. So I suggest you guys get a Crunchyroll account. It's only like $6.95 a month, so that's freaking amazing. 
So I'm excited for that. Got tons of watching animes to do. So that's cool. Um, I went to a Bandai Namco panel where they're talking about the Tales of series. Tales of Celia 2 is coming out. I, I'm not into that. It's not that I'm not into it. I just, it's not like I don't like it. I just never got into it. I think it's a cool series. I've seen the cosplays every year because my friend's really into it. and he, That's the reason why I went. So I think it's cool. I just never got into it. But we went to that and they were handing out tickets when you walk in just for like a, a raffle. And it was funny, I was like number three, two, three, five, blah, blah, blah. And my last two numbers were 58. And they were just like, okay, blah, 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 57. I was like, ah, blah, 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 59. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And then finally they were just like, ah, oh, blah, blah, 58. And I was like, yeah, I actually won something. And I didn't expect it to be so much. I won a bag, uh, came with this from uh, Nino Kuni. This plushie, this plushie, uh, another plushie of it, just really, really small. This plushie, uh, the cape, there's the cape here, Nino Kuni, button on it and everything, that's really cool. Um, the limited edition, like, metal, I guess, steel, not steel, but like, just metal case, really awesome. Just the case, no game, unfortunately, but I really want to get the, I was planning on getting the game before, so... Once I do get the game, it'll look really cool with the case. So that was awesome. And this, this was the best, coolest part about it. I actually got the spell book. The spell book came with it. Totally for free. Really awesome looking. Really legit looking. Just, it's pretty much a, a, a guide. But the way they do it, it's like a spell book. And it's like, oh, to be if you plan on being a wizard and blah, blah, blah. So, really awesome. Got all that stuff for free. That was awesome. So I got really tons of stuff for free. Another thing I won, I went, when I signed up for Crunchyroll, they gave me another ticket thing. And they're just like, yeah, take this over and maybe you won something. And I took it over and they're like, okay, you get to pick out a shirt or a cape phone case or whatever. So I picked out this awesome tiger and bunny shirt that looks really cool. Like, it looks like it's glowing. That just looks awesome. Tiger and Bunny is an awesome series, so I suggest you watch it. It's like superheroes being sponsored and stuff. Really awesome. And this guy, I bought the uh, Bull Taurus from um, Gingaman. Uh, Denji Sentai Giga Man. I was planning on getting them for a while now because I do collect Super Sentai stuff. Like I said, I'm going to start trying to review that stuff. I want to catch up with it. Um, and so I really wanted to start getting a uh, Giga Man just because I asked my friends and other people, co workers, and I was like, okay, I'm working on this series right now. I'm working on collecting a series. Because I have pa other past series, but um, and the current series. I'm caught up on the current series of figures. So I'm like, okay, I want to get either these series or these three series or four series. Which one should I get? And everyone said, well, for Power Rangers, everyone said uh, Lost Galaxy because they all said that was the one that they remember the most and felt the most connected to. And I agree, that was a really good series. Um, so, so I started looking at the Lost Galaxy figures, and this guy I decided to get because originally he was eighty dollars, but the second day of Anime Expo, the guy I went to the booth, I didn't even see the booth the first time, so the second day I went and it said eighty dollars crossed off thirty five dollars. And I was like, okay, that's a significant difference. So I figured it was like used or something. So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, is this used? And he said, no, uh, it's brand new, unopened. The only thing was, uh, he said that on the way over the Anime Expo, uh, I guess he had a little accent with the box. And there was a hole in the box. Not like a hole, just like the box was ripped. And mostly, I mean, it was a hole, but it wasn't like there was a piece missing. It was just kind of like pushed in and ripped. And I was, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But I was like, okay, works for me. I'm like, so it's never been open, nothing. He's like, no, just the hole. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. 35 bucks? Hell yeah. That's a fantastic... I've opened this guy up. Brand new. No stickers on it. Nothing. And it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I got it. A steal. A freaking steal. So really glad I got it. I put all the stickers on. He looks fantastic. Awesome. Another thing I got. Um, This guy. Project X K Kalis? 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 Swoop, basically, from the Follow Cybertron line. Really awesome. I started talking to the guy there. He's really chill. Um, really, He was a really chill and awesome guy. I'm glad I got to meet him. I wish I got to know his name. I'll probably see him again because uh, I didn't even know it, but apparently, well, I'll do this in a in a TF update, but basically there's like a kind of like a swap meet kind of thing for toy vendors, which is awesome. That I just found out it's in the area for me, so that's really awesome. So yeah, he, he brought this down. It was 80, and he's just like, he was really chill. I didn't even ask or anything. He's just like, yeah, I'll give it to you for 75 just because we were just like... Really chill with these guys. I was like, that was nice of him. Really awesome. Got this for $75 when it's usually 80 Couldn't find this online anywhere, so that's why I wanted to get them. That's why I was really wanting to get them, just because I could not um, find them online. 
So it was either now or never. And I chose no. Well, anyways, he had a little bit of switches on him, but I was cleaning it off. So yeah, he looks fantastic. Honestly, my only complaint about him, which I don't even know if it was a complaint really, maybe just me whining, is that I actually think he looks better than Grimlock, which is, like I said, not even a complaint. I mean, that's just, that's good. He should look awesome. I'm just a little worried that I'm going to put next to Grimlock, and he's going to look awesome, and Grimlock's going to look cheap. But I don't know, maybe that, I haven't lined him up yet, but I don't think that'll be the case. They do look really good. Like, I'm just from looking at him, he does look really awesome. And, and Grimlock does have, like, light piping and the same colors and everything. So they should look awesome together. I'm excited. And the guy even told me from the Toy Arena booth. This, I did get the, this guy from Toy Arena. He told me um, that they are doing a full set of six, I think. I think he said six of these guys. So they, we are going to get a full Dinobot line from Project X. He said the next one in line is, um, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember what his name was in the game. Uh, Slug? Slug? No, not Slug. Um, maybe it was Slug. I'm trying to remember just because I'm getting confused with Age of Extinction now. The Brontosaurus, who was uh, Slug. Yes, he was Slug in the game, wasn't he? And then in the movie, they decided to make Slug slime. I don't know. The Brontosaurus. So yeah, I'm, that feels very noobish of me to say the Brontosaurus, but that's the best way I can remember him differentiating him. But yeah, I'm excited to get him because he was he's freaking awesome. And you didn't even get to see him in the game, really, just because he was dead, so that sucked. So I'm excited to get that. I'm definitely going to get that. And yeah. So, and I think that's... No, the last thing I got was uh, on the last day. They were just, These were cheap. It was like uh, 4 for $10. So I figured, why not? There, I do like laminates. I like things that I can hang up around my room and stuff. So here we have the Proud. These are all based off the IDW comics, I believe. Because um, I was talking to the woman, and she, or the young miss. And um, she was pretty cute, by the way. She was just asking me about the books, and I was like, yeah, I do get, get them and all them. We were just talking about the comics and everything. So yeah, here we have Proud. They're all cutesy style. You can see he's got a heart on him. And then Shockwave. His eye is a heart, because he's got those little... He's blushing. And then, um... If you want to see really awesome pictures of these, I put them on my uh, Instagram and Tumblr at Mechation for uh, Tumblr Mechation. And then uh, Instagram Mechas underscore of underscore iron of underscore heart. So Mechas of Iron Heart. Um, they look very nice, I think. Whirl we got here. He's got a heart on his um, uh, cockpit. And then Coronation Starscream, which I thought... This is pretty much what sold for me. I saw Coronation Starscream. I'm like, okay, I need to pick some of these guys up. And it was 4 for $10, so I figured why not. And he's got a little heart in his cockpit as well. And the little blush. He's blushing. Cool. Very nice. Love him. I'm going to hang him up. So that was uh, a lot of what I got. Um, so I did those. I did the Gundam uh, Unicorn Episode 7. I believe that's the last episode. Yeah, it's the last episode. So I got to watch that, got to see that screening, that was really cool, very epic. Um, opening ceremony, saw that, that was cool, seeing all, all the guests of honors were going to be there. I think was, they said that they had the most guests of honors there than they've had ever. Hey, Kyle Haber panel, that was 18 and over, so I did film, I was filming in the beginning, but then he kind of jokingly was like, oh, well, please don't put it on YouTube, I don't, don't want to like, lose my career. So I was just like, okay, you know, that's that's true, he, he is, this is an 18 and over panel, I don't want him getting in trouble or discredited for for anything he says for this panel. So, I do have it filmed, but I, I won't be showing it. Sorry, guys. Um, but I do have pictures. I did put pictures on uh, my Tumblr account. So, I try to get every funny... every Anytime he made a funny face or something, I try to get a picture. So, it's pretty, if you guys like Kyle Haber, you did a comment on in Guren Lagann. He did the, the narrator for Dragon Ball Z, Teen Gohan and Dragon Ball Z. Um, I'm trying to remember what else off the top of my head. Uh, I'm sure he's done. Okay, I know he's done several others, but off the top of my head, there's that. Um, let's see what other panels we went to. Sailor Moon. I think I already mentioned that. That was really awesome. Um, Sailor Moon panel, Sword Art Online panel, Kyle Haber panel. Got him. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Today, my friend introduced me to Free, the swimming, uh, swimming uh, anime that that is pretty. That's the, like that was the thing. That I guess it's kind of like the theme, not the theme, but like. There's a good amount of free people dressed up as free characters. So I'm super into that now. I know it's supposed to be for girls, but I loved it. I loved every moment of it. The art is beautiful. The characters are hilarious. They blend together very well. They're a very good mix of characters. I loved it. And I do like sports anime and manga. I read Ice Shield 21, and I do want to watch the show just because uh, it was very good. I, I did love it. Sports manga, or sports manga and anime to me, I love that they have that fierce battle spirit but it's competitive, so it's not like, you know, 
battle, usual battle manga where it's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you or defeat you or oh, I hate you, you're evil, blah blah blah. Whereas this one is more their rivalries. They can still be friends. They can enjoy each other's company, blah blah blah. So it's nice. I do like that. So I do enjoy the sports uh, style of it. So yeah, I'm a big free fan now. I'm 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 getting ready to watch every single episode I can. So oh yeah. That was, that was the big thing. We saw the first two episodes they were released of Season 2. And the producer of Free was at the expo. And he was there. So that was really chill. People were asking questions stuff at the panel afterwards. And it was really... What was really awesome is Season 2 hasn't even aired in Japan yet. So he was really big on please don't tweet any uh, spoilers or upload any spoilers or whatever. Take pictures and stuff. Which is a given. You shouldn't be taking pictures or filming it. any you know video footage you see yet. Expo's pictures, I think, are okay. Not for, like, unreleased footage, but, I mean, if you're gonna go see, you know, some old anime or whatever, if you want... I mean, I don't think that should be a problem taking a picture, but for the new stuff that they haven't even released yet, yeah, don't take pictures or film. I saw one guy, like, either filming or taking pictures at the Gundam Unicorn panel, and I think they asked him to leave or whatever and made him pictures. I'm just like, come on, guy, like, what are, you, what are you doing? Like, of course I'm not gonna fly with that. So, yeah, I can't say anything about... Uh, episode 2 of free, but I can say I got to see it. So that was awesome. That's awesome. We get to brag for a week and a half. Nice. Finally got one over Japan. Yeah! Score! So, that was awesome. Um, and that's about it. I think that's pretty much all we did. Did we do anything else? Oh, Crunchyroll panel. Not, or yeah, Crunchyroll panel. That was cool. So, um, I got my account going. My friends had an account for a while, but I got mine going now. So I'm excited to watch that. I think everyone should sign up. It's only six ninety five. You get, I think, manga also. I know you get anime. Yeah, a ton of anime. So that's cool. And then manga, I think you get. You might have to pay more, but I'm not sure. But yeah, six ninety five a month to watch infinite amount of anime. That's awesome. So I suggest everyone does it. Support support the uh, anime, you know, cause I guess, and just to watch it. It's awesome. So that was Anime Expo, guys. I don't think... Oh, the fan, oh Funimation, Namco, again, they released uh, Tales of Shelia 2. Not released, but like just like talked about it. Talked about their future games. They're making a Sword Art Online uh, PS Vita game, which is unfortunate because I don't have a PS Vita, and I really want that game. So, I don't know. Maybe if we're lucky... Because it is popular. Sword Art Online is popular. So I'm hoping maybe if it's popular enough, it'll get a PS4 game, which will motivate me to get a PS4. Because if they make it for PS4... I mean, I'm definitely getting a PS4. It's just a matter of when. You know, right now I don't feel need for one. There's nothing out that I, I just have to get. Win for stuff like Kingdom Hearts. And if they make Sword Art Online, I'll definitely get that. Ratchet & Clank, I think they're making a PS4 game for that. So I'll probably get that. Stuff like that. If they said they're making, you know, another Ratchet & Clank and Jack and & Daxter, hell yeah, I'm getting a PS4. But for now, you know, I, I can wait. So anyways, guys, it's been Samurai Man. Uh, you all have a great day.